Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and today we're going to be talking about Tracer watches. Uh, Tracer watches I've been carrying since uh, 2008. I know pretty much the day and the date exactly, and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, I'm going to show you what a letter I received. Uh, but Tracer watches are tritium-based watches. Uh, they're similar to, if you've never heard of Tracer, similar to a brand like Luminox, Ball, Knight, Smith & Wesson, if they're still around, uh, all those other brands. And basically, Tracer watches are self-illuminating radioactive watches. They contain little glass vials that have a radioactive gas. Radioactive gas uh, reacts with uh, the tube it's in, and uh, the coating on the tube wall emits visible light to you and me that we can see and perceive as color. Uh, and the color spectrum pretty much follows the rainbow. You can get any color you want. I did a video... It's probably over a year ago now at this point on what tritium is. And I'm going to redo it. I'm going to do another video. I'm going to publish it under the guise of Watch and Learn. And I'm going to really get into the uh, in-depth of uh, tritium illumination. But uh, in short, the watch I'm going to show you today are all tritium-based. They have little glass tubes, and you'll see it in the video, uh, that have this radioactive gas. The tritium used in these have a half-life of around 12 and a quarter years. So after about 12 years... Uh, you get about half the brightness, uh, another 12, another half the brightness, and it, it keeps decaying on and on. And you may have heard, heard of this as radioactive decay. This is what radioactive decay is. I'm going to show you uh, just a couple of the watches I'll be showing you today. This officer watch with the gunmetal case and the orange accents. And then I've got uh, a GMT, uh, the Aurora two-time zone GMT. This one's got the blue dial. It's uh, a really nice-looking watch. Uh, they all use what is called these uh, these GTLS, these gas tubes uh, that Tracer makes, and I'll get into it in a minute, uh, how, who Tracer is owned by. Something that's important to note, and I'll go over this in the Watch and Learn uh, when I do that video. Who knows when I'll do it? i got a lot of thoughts in my head. Uh, the radiation that's emitted can't penetrate human skin, can't penetrate a piece of paper. It's uh, beta radiation. Uh, it's very low level, you know, it, like I say, it reacts with the tubes, so you can actually see it. But as far as for physical health uh, and anything else that, you know, that we think that radiation is, is associated with from a health aspect, uh, I've heard it said before, I, I didn't research it, I've heard it said that the potassium in a banana releases more radiation uh, than uh, one of these tubes. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get over to the table and check out uh, Tracer H3 Tritium is the uh, H3 symbol, uh, Tracer H3 watches. So I figured this is just a good way to start the overview of all the watches. I have, uh, I think, eight watches uh, here. Uh, I can see in the viewfinder, obviously, the one major one with the luminous dial. Uh, my finger's in front of it. Uh, maybe you see a smattering of other tritium-based illumination around the table. I'll flip the lights back on, and you can see, indeed, I have eight watches. I'm going to try to go quick. Uh, a couple of them are from the same series, so I'm just going to do uh, in detail on one of them and just move on to the rest. Uh, but before I do, I do want to just say, you know, this these watches really do have tritium, and they really contain radioactive material. And just to show you how serious this is, I'm going to show you a little something that I got in the mail uh, very shortly after I started carrying these watches. So picture this. You're four or five years into your online venture to sell wristwatches. You get a new brand of watches called Tracer that was recommended. And you get not one, but two certified return receipt copies of this in the mail from the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. And there's nothing really identifying in here. But what it basically says is, you know, we went on your website and we see that you have watches that have tritium in them. You're not allowed to sell them unless you have an import license. So the license holder for these watches is actually somewhere in Buffalo. Uh, every Tracer watch comes into the country, I believe, um, this is the logistics that I don't know too much of, uh, come in through Buffalo and then they funnel their way into the distribution stream. Uh, so there is a license holder and you just need to trace your watches back to the original license holder, which I do since I purchased from the authorized source uh, in the USA. So anyway, let's get into the watches. So everybody likes novelties, so we'll start with the novelties. This was announced at Basel uh, 2017. This is one of uh, a bunch of Tracer watches I'm going to show you that were announced this year. Uh, it's this gunmetal case. You can see the gunmetal. It's kind of like faded. Lime green dial with tritium tubes on a rubber strap. 
All the watches I'm going to show you today are quartz driven. Uh, something that's important to note uh, that was brought to my attention that maybe I don't advertise it enough is that Tracer watches are indeed Swiss made. They are made in Switzerland. They qualify for the Swiss made label. Uh, what's cool about Tracer is that the company is owned by MB Microtech. And you could go, go check this out online. MB Microtech is the company that actually makes the little tritium vials. The vials are supplied to industries all over the world. One of the biggest industries probably is defense. They're used in gun sites uh, and things of that nature. Uh, but then they decided to brand their own watch label. That's Tracer. Uh, I assume named after a Tracer round, but that's T-R-A-C-E-R. -E not sure where the name comes from. You can see H3 is on the dial. H3 is the symbol for tritium. Uh, it's a radioactive isotope of hydrogen. And I'm going to do another. I'm going to do a watch and learn on uh, tritium-based watches. I did something a while ago. I didn't get into too much detail. I want to do it again and show the difference between uh, tritium and uh, standard uh, luminescent paint like this dial. So this dial is coated with a film of luminescence, uh, probably superluminova. And then, if I pull up, if I pull in really close on the dial. And the hand, you can see the tubes. Those are gaseous tubes. GTLS, gaseous tube light source. Or gaseous tritium light source. I'm not sure which one it is. I got it written down somewhere. And those tubes are filled with tritium gas, and that is what emits light. So I'm just going to flick out the lights for a minute. And now you can see, right now, it's clear the dial takes over. The dial is much brighter than the tubes. The only reason you can see the 12 o'clock tube is because it's an orange, and that's in contrast to all the other tubes, which are green. But I'll bring up other Tracer watches next, and after a while, this dial will fade because it's super luminova. It's passive luminescence. And then the tubes will take over, and then you'll just see the tube. So it's really a cool watch. This is, uh, let's get into specifics. It's around 400 bucks. It's 42 millimeters in diameter, 10 and a half thick, 49 tip to tip. It's got a 22 millimeter lug, 100 meters water resistant, push pull crown. As I said, it's a Swiss quartz movement, standard three handed date movement. The crystal on this is anti reflective sapphire, and it's got a screw down case back, as you saw before. Product code, branding, Swiss made water resistance, uh, tritium. This is just a really, this is a cool watch. So this is one of the new watches that came out in Basel. And then I'm going to show you, basically next I'm going to show you three other watches that came out in Basel. And they're all from the same series. Before we put this one away, we should mention this is Tracer model number 107424. So next up is the Officer Pro, which comes in, I'm going to say three color schemes. It's the plain black, it's the black with the orange stripe, and the black with the green stripe. If going from front to back, it's model numbers 107, 424, 425, and 426. So this is 10. I'm sorry, I might have, or I already misspoke. This was 107, 422, 425, and 426. So the size specs are the same on all of them, which is 42 by 10 and a half by 49, which is the same as the watch we just saw. It's a 22 millimeter lug, solid screw down case back, one piece nylon strap, black. It's got the brushed or, or matte hardware. It doesn't exactly match the case perfectly. That's a little gripe I'm going to have. Uh, but again, it's that gunmetal case, which it's not solid black PVD. It's actually, it's almost like aged, uh, like a dull gray. Not like titanium, uh, much deeper than that. Uh, but the standard stuff applies here. Three-handed quartz movement. Now we have tritium illumination. So now you can clearly see the tritium. This is T25, which means it's got 25 millicuries of uh, radiation inside the tubes. The 12 o'clock tube is orange, and that provides a registration, so you know where 12 o'clock is. But, I mean, these are, you can see them in the background, too. They're super easy to read in the dark. And this light will last for, they guarantee it to last for at least 10 years. The half-life is around 12 years. Uh, so after 12 years, it's half as bright as it was when it came from the factory. The good news here is that since the factory that makes the tubes is the factory that makes the watches, it's it's like fresh produce. You know the tubes are fresh. They haven't been sitting in inventory for 20 years. Or, or 20 years, they'd be dead. Uh, not dead, but really not emitting enough light. They haven't been sitting in inventory for three to five years. They are pretty much new. So it comes in this variety. It comes in the orange. So you got orange numbers. 
and then the tritium tubes. The glow is going to be the same. The, uh, the numbers glow just a little bit. That's with luminescent paint. That's not with tritium. Just really cool looking. Uh, it pops so nice. And tell me that doesn't pop as well with the green. Uh, what a combination. A winning combination. I love the seconds hand running right through the stripe on the, on the strap. These are awesome. They're all $356. Again, they all share the same size specs, that 100 meter water resistant, push-pull crown, Swiss made, all cool stuff. You know, in a, in a nice, easy to wear size, for I'd say for almost anybody. So let's move on to the last novelty that came out of Basel. And now we'll move on to the GMT of the pack. These are the uh, Tracer Aurora watches. Uh, only difference here is the, the dial color. One is a gradient black and one is a gradient blue. You see they start out as black, it fades to gray and it gets to the bottom. Starts out as a very dark blue and it fades to a lighter blue at the bottom of the dial. Really cool looking. So these are GMT watches. I'll put the blue one aside for a minute. I know I'm putting the blue one aside. That's weird for me. Uh, but you can see it's got a GMT hand, this red hand. This red hand will revolve once a day and it's independently settable. So you pull the crown out one click. And you can change this hand to whatever time you want in 24-hour time format. And you'll see that when the time advances or when the time goes backwards, you can see that GMT hand will move in sync to keep track of a second time zone. So again, like before, we have tritium tubes even on the GMT hand. Uh, really cool. You know, you don't have to do that, but they do it. And now you might wonder, well, how do you see the second time zone? Because there's no tubes there. We'll get to that in a minute. We'll, we'll shut out the lights and we'll light it up. Uh, but the size on this one is similar to the rest, 42 by 10 and a half. So 42 millimeters, 10 and a half thick, 48, 49, tip to tip. Screw down back, sapphire, anti-reflective, 22 millimeter lug. The strap is this black leather, lackluster in my opinion. The watch sells for around $350. At least you get the matching Tracer buckle, if I can wedge it up. There it is. Like I said, the strap here, just a plain leather strap. Nothing, nothing to write home about. So let's see what happens when we flip out the lights, because that's what we came here for. And immediately you see, so the tritium tubes are blue, which is awesome. Blue on the hours, minutes, and seconds. GMT hand. Hope you can see it is a red slit. The, the indices around the outside are done in blue. The numbers are done in blue luminescent paint, so that will fade over time uh, with, uh, as the night goes on. And then you have the tubes around the dial and the orange at the top for your uh, registration. You can see the GMT track, half of it is done in luminescent paint, which is really nifty. Uh, so it just looks so nice at night. That's so cool looking. And then Maybe you caught it, maybe you didn't. If you look, see my finger tracing around the outside. They've actually added a gasket. I, I'm, I'm assuming it's the crystal gasket. It's impregnated with luminescent paint. So uh, this will glow for a little while, and it gives you this nice border effect uh, on the outside of the watch. Again, that's not a tritium, it's not tritium light. It's regular uh, photoluminescent light. So anyway, this is the Aurora in black. And like I said, and it comes in blue. See that gradient dial? I might have said before it starts in dark blue and goes to light blue. It actually starts at black and goes to blue. That was my mistake. Now that I'm seeing it in the bright light here, it's easier for me to see. Pa um, excuse me, uh, brushed stainless steel case. Really nice. Again, this is the P59 Aurora, around $350. The blue one is model number 107231, and the black is model number 107235. So I'm finish it up with two more watches. These are in the current existing collection. This is the uh, Big Date Chrono with black PVD case. You can see it's got the Big Date up there. Chronograph wheels. Start. Stop. Reset. Uh, what I dig about this one besides it being all black and PVD on this black link bracelet. Talk about a Man, this thing's solid. It feels really good. Uh, is the, What I like about this is that the lights are blue. And I love blue, so that it looks really cool at night. Uh, but this is a uh, Swiss Ronda 5040B movement. Uh, it is a 40 millimeter case, so it's actually pretty small. It's good for people that don't want a tremendous watch. Now, this is one of the smallest watches I'm showing you today, even though it's uh, got all these complications. 
It's 12 millimeters thick, and it's 47 tip to tip. It has you know traditional uh, lug style screw down back, sapphire crystal, 22 millimeter bracelet, and still a 100 meters water resistant. This one's the most expensive one I'm showing you, mostly because of all the PVDing uh, and the chronograph and just the regular the overall build of it. If you feel it in your hand, it's it's bulky. I mean, I know they sell this bracelet for a pretty penny on its own. Uh, so that that's what leads to it being the uh, $585 price tag. Let's flip out the lights, and you can see those blue lights. Ah, uh, the blue. It's so uh, it's so soothing. Uh, I love seeing just the blue, like an ice blue. Orange at the top, of course, for your registration. And then if I start the chrono, you can see the chrono hand moving, and then reset. There it goes. Uh, just a overall really pleasing looking watch. This military kind of feel to it. So the last one I'm going to show you is this model number 100139, the smallest of the bunch and the least expensive of the bunch on this one-piece nylon strap. comes in a couple different varieties. also comes on a textile slash leather strap. Um, but if you're looking at the watch and you, you know, you got a sharp eye for this stuff, you're like, wow, look at that case. See that? It almost, got, almost has no lugs to it. So this is a, another quartz one, a Ronda 505 based watch. It is 37 millimeters in diameter, 9 millimeters thick. It's only 41 from tip to tip since there's no lug. So this is going to fit almost everybody, and especially since it's on, you know, a one-piece nylon strap. It can even fit larger wrists. It's a plastic case now, super light. You know, it's a reinforced plastic. I, ha I hate using the term plastic. Uh, when you're an engineer, plastic means so much. Uh, it just doesn't mean, you know, plastic kids' toys. It, it really means any kind of thermosetting compound. Uh, but so it's this plastic, non metallic case. You got the metal lunette on it. Sterile dial. If you notice, this is the only sterile dial I've showed you, which means there's no tracer written on it. All we see are H3 symbol for tritium and the radioactive symbol uh, because it is indeed radioactive uh, Swiss made on the bottom and we'll do the usual extremely easy to read all T25 tubes hands markers registration dot at the top this one comes in around 175 bucks which is a really a really fair price for a Swiss made tritium watch uh, extremely inexpensive price I'll say it's an 18 millimeter lug 50 meters water resistant. So this is like a really good, I would say, a field watch. I mean, when I, this is, it's rugged, it's light, it's comfortable, it's accurate. Uh, it's a mineral crystal. So, you know, a lot of things in here are done to keep the cost down. Uh, but this is, you know, I'm going to say almost, almost the workhorse of the pack, if you will. This is the uh, P5900 uh, Type 3 watch. And then the larger one, I'm not showing you any here. I've shown them in other videos are the Type 6 watches. So what I'm going to do now is I'll try a couple of them on my uh, 6 and 3 quarter inch wrist and you can get an idea of what they'll look like uh, on you. Okay now, just because it was the last one to be uh, <laughs> videoed, it'll be the first one to go on the wrist. And again, this is a, a small 37 millimeter, extremely comfortable, lightweight, fits me perfectly, 6 and 3 quarter inch wrists. I, I have a hard time imagining the size wrist that this wouldn't fit. Of course, you have a 9-inch wrist. Maybe you want to look elsewhere. Uh, but this gets the comfort award. Next up is the 42-millimeter uh, Aurora. This is that dual time watch. Fits me fine. Very comfortable. Again, not a high profile. The lugs fit well. I think all the watches today are going to fit me uh, just fine. This is the black one. In hindsight, I would have liked to have tried on the blue one, but you only need to see one. How's that for shock factor, that lime green dial? Uh, gunmetal case again 42 millimeter fits fine I should mention that this rubber is real rubber it's vanilla scented uh, it smells super nice almost like a baker in here right now so again another knockout and I'll try in the all black version of that uh, gunmetal officer watch I showed you uh, I wear this a word comes to mind covert uh, I don't know why um, except for the brushed hardware that kind of ticks me off a little bit um, but Still a great looking watch, a great fitting watch. The strap could probably go tighter, but it's really nice. And then if you like a splash of color, obviously the lime green or the uh, orange stripe uh, would definitely suit you. So that's about it. I'm not going to try on the uh, black PVD chrono because I got a D sticker the whole bracelet. 
and uh, I don't want to do that. So uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you some new Tracer novelties. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel if you have not done so yet. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.